Chuck. Jimmy Fallon here. I just want to say congratulations on 50 years at NBC. Are you kidding me? 50 years, Chuck Scarborough. You're a legend, bud. I, 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 I also want to say ever since I started working here from Saturday Night Live to Late Night to, to this, I always remember seeing you in the halls and you've always been so nice to me, even on the elevators. My like, hi, Chuck. Uh, you're the best. Uh, you're a great friend of our, our, our show and, and me. And in honor of your big milestone, I thought I'd write you a thank you note. Thank you, Chuck Scarborough, for celebrating 50 years as a broadcast journalist anchoring the news for NBC4 New York. Of course, over that time, we've seen you go through many phases. There was your 70s phase, your 80s phase, your 90s grunge phase, your emo phase, your Ken phase, and now your New York legend phase. Happy golden anniversary, Chuck Scarborough! Congratulations, bud! Now, I've been in this building for 23 years, and every once in a while, I'm lucky enough to get in an elevator with Chuck Scarborough. His elevator, I should make it clear. It's called the chuck uh, It can go express to whatever floor he wants, go sideways. It's really cool. <laughs> I can't wait to get my own in 27 years. Congratulations on 50, Chuck. Happy 50th anniversary, Chuck. Your work ethic is an inspiration to all of us. Wish you the happiest work anniversary from our family of Telemundo 47. Muchas felicidades! Happy 50th anniversary, Chuck Scarborough. The Big Apple's Big Cheese. Well done, my friend. Congratulations, Chuck Scarborough. It's lovely to see you on my television every day. Many, many, many more. God bless you. Mwah. All right, Chuck, here it is. Happy 50th year anniversary. Incredible. We have something in common. We both love the Yankees. Congrats, and here's to another 50. Chuck, when I was a kid, I watched you in the Boston area, and I thought you were an example of everything good about someone who gave us the news, gave it to us fair and honestly. And I still feel that way. I feel it's a world that's gotten a lot more complicated since then, but you're steady and you're honest and you're real. And it's a reminder to us that even in a very unsteady world, we can hear the news from someone we can trust. So I just want to thank you for that, Chuck. Keep up the good work, brother. Thank you. 50 years, 50 years, Chuck, at NBC, Channel 4. Congratulations. What can I say, Chuck? New York loves you. Hi, Chuck. Bernie Williams here with the Yankees. Just wanted to thank you for 50 years of great service to this community. Here's for 50 more. God bless. Chuck, Aaron Boone here with the New York Yankees, and I just wanted to reach out to you and congratulate you on 50 amazing years in the business. Cheers to 50 more. Take care, man. Chuck, I, I remember pretty well, not long after I got here in April of 2009, you were one of the first uh, journalists with whom I sat down for an interview and I was a little nervous. I thought, I don't really know this New York media. You were so welcoming. You were so kind. Yeah, you asked some very perceptive and incisive questions. You bet you did. You're a good journalist, but you made me feel at home. And I think that's part of your, your talent. And that's one of the virtues for which we thank you you make us all feel at home. My dearest Chuck, sending you so much love, so many congratulations on this 50-year accomplishment. You've given those who are truly interested in the world somewhere to be. They know you are someone they can trust. This is really huge, and this is major. Of course, my favorite moment with you was when I dumped a bag of popcorn on your head during the broadcast for being just too smart. I'm sending you so many big hugs. Chuck, congratulations. It's been an amazing 50 years. I hope you continue for many, many more. And, uh, you know, you have been a, a, a stalwart figure in so many millions of Americans' homes uh, in the evening reporting on the news. And uh, people trust you uh, and they, they lean in and listen to what you have to say. And uh, you've been a great figure uh, on the news and certainly in Southampton Village. I want to congratulate you, Chuck, on 50 years at NBC. That's an extraordinary accomplishment. Uh, you should be very, very proud, and the ASPCA is very, very proud of you, and we are grateful for all that you have done for us. 
All right, Chuck Scarborough, I mean, here's the thing. When people stop me and they say, oh, my entire life I've been following you and I love you, it makes me feel a little old. So I'm not going to say that to you, Chuck, except, darling, I've been following you since I'm a little kid. Congratulations. I love you. The world loves you, darling. Mwah. We all love you. Mwah. Happy 50th anniversary, Chuck. Thanks for being an architect in your field. We all love you and wish you well. Hi, I'm Rosanna Scotto. Congratulations, Chuck. You are a New York treasure. You've gotten us through good times and difficult times. Thank you so much for keeping us informed. Happy 50th. We love you. Chuck, congratulations on the 50 years of grandeur, man. I was just a neophyte when you were doing it. Congratulations, health and happiness and peace of mind. Chuck, I just want to say how happy I am that I get this opportunity to wish you a happy anniversary. You should know that uh, I don't think my parents really believed that I was working for Channel 4 until they actually heard you introduce one of my stories. So I thank you for that. Obviously, Long Island is your second home, and we've worked together on stories about aviation, about veterans, and issues of local importance. And I've always been so thrilled by your story ideas and your guidance on so many things. And of course, uh, wherever we go on Long Island, people are always asking about you. Of course, uh, they often ask about the relationship uh, you had with Sue, the affection you had for one another, the chemistry you had on air. But whenever people ask me about who is Chuck Scarborough or what is Chuck Scarborough really like, I always tell them this story. Uh, it happened at a reporters meeting when I was relatively new at Channel 4. And if I recall correctly, thankfully, uh, you cut short a soliloquy by our beloved brother, Brian Thompson. And you stood in front of all of the reporters who were gathered and basically told us how in awe you were of what we did every day. How it was amazing that we were able to, in a short period of time, turn these stories that were interesting and, and served our viewers so well. And as a, as a new reporter in the building, a, a young guy, I, I was so moved by that, that this man who was the face of the franchise for us would take the time to, to say thank you and, and to encourage us to keep going. And, and it really worked because uh, I always remembered what you said on those days when, uh, as we all have, when things don't always go right, uh, your words would inspire us to keep pushing so that we could live up to the expectations that you set and, and not disappoint you. Um, I just wanted to end by saying whenever my big Italian family gets together, we, for whether it's an anniversary or a birthday, we always express uh, a heartfelt wish with uh, one word, centani. Uh, roughly translated, it means uh, may you live and thrive for a hundred years. Well, Chuck, uh, you're, you're halfway there, and I don't know if you want to get to a hundred, but however long you continue with us, you should always know that we and the viewers cherish every moment we have. Enjoy. Chuck, did you know if your anniversary was measured in dog years, you'd be celebrating your 350th year on NBC? I know you're fond of these joyous creatures, so that's why Duke is here to join us. Some adjectives viewers might think you and Duke share. Handsome, loyal, steady, blonde, smart, patient, honorable, and perhaps most fitting, trusted. Through our city's highest moments to our deepest tragedies, you've always been there with us, for us, at our side, faithfully guiding us through our history in the making. It has been a true honor all these years to have run with you the big dog here at NBC. And what a run it continues to be. Congratulations. Hey Chuck, it's your colleague and a longtime friend, Ernie Anastas. We've known each other a long time and I have so much respect for you. Congratulations on 50 years. I think that's a great honor. You know, you've always been a professional, really the top guy at your game. You really are terrific. And it reminds me of Maya Angelou, the great poet. She once said, people may not remember what you said or what you did, but they'll remember how you made them feel. And you've always made your viewers feel comfortable and felt that you were telling them the truth and you were being sincere about what you did. Congratulations on that. What a wonderful job. 50 more years, Chuck. Congratulations. Good times. It might be easy to take you for granted, Chuck Scarborough, day in, day out, decade in, decade out, but 50 years is an incredible accomplishment. Congratulations. Chuck, on behalf of all real New Yorkers, 
people like me who grew up in the city, you are an institution. I watched you every night for years and years and years. And we're just thrilled to celebrate incredible half century of professionalism and New Yorkiness all the way. Thank you. Chuck Scarborough, 50 years at MVC. I can't believe it. What were you, seven when you started? People have looked forward to seeing your face and hearing your voice every night for five decades. It's an unbelievable accomplishment, Chuck, and I'm so happy I could spend some of those years at 30 Rock with you. Congratulations. Hey, Chuck. Pete Hernandez here, formerly of in Howard Matz. You remember back then. Wouldn't that wasn't 50 years ago. Well, I understand you're celebrating 50 years of broadcasting in New York. And congratulations to you. I have fond memories of YP5 and you coming on at 6. I mean, what was a few appearances? On the show with Sal Marciano, your group. And uh, I run into you at Sac Arbor all the time. Hope to see you this summer. But most importantly, 50 years of spite and accomplishment. And you are the best. And congratulations. Chuck, congratulations on your career, man. I mean, I've been watching all my life, basically, and uh, wow, uh, what a what a huge, huge landmark for you, and, and a great success too. Thank you, thank you for all that you've done. When I first saw Chuck Scarborough on the air, he was at a competing station in Boston. We're talking early seventies. I said to myself, "Damn, there's a good-looking guy who could really read the hell out of the teleprompter," and uh, and I got to work with Chuck in New York City in the 80s, and I learned very quickly that that was the wrong rap on Chuck Scarborough. He was a guy, when a big news story broke, he would roll up his sleeves, he'd be in the middle of the newsroom, banging away at the typewriter back in the day. He was leading the news team. Um, I, I, it's one of the great joys of my career that I was part of a news team that had Chuck Scarborough, Sue Simmons, Al Roker, Janice Huff. I mean, I thought it was the best news team of all time, and it was led by the best newsman of all time. So congratulations, Chuck. What an incredible career. I am so honored and thrilled to impart a small part of your great half a century ride. Chuck, I've been looking up to you since I first landed in town as a young reporter back in the early 80s, despite the fact at the time I was working at a crosstown competitor. You have always delivered the news with grace, intelligence and authority and set a really high bar for those of us who have come up behind you. New Yorkers are fortunate to have had you in their living rooms all these years. Chuck, congratulations for 50 years in television. Happy 50th, Chuck Scarborough. Congratulations. That's a big one. That's a marker. On our first day at Channel 4, the great film critic, Gene Shalit, saw your gorgeous face being made up and said, you need to be made down. Thank you for championing generations of journalists and this city that we love. And after 50 years, speaking as your friend and fan, I still think you need to be made down. Love you, Chuck. Hi, it's Mayor Adams. For 50 years, Chuck Scarborough has been behind WNBC's anchor desk, telling New Yorkers what we need to know and giving it to us straight. Chuck, you are a living legend. And as a New Yorker, I'm grateful for all you have done to keep our city informed. Congratulations, Chuck. Chuck, congratulations on 50 years at WNBC. You are simply the best of the best. One of the people who's inspired me to get it right, to always keep community in mind. You are part of the fabric of your community, Chuck, and a reminder to all journalists of that key part of our roles. I love seeing you every time I get the chance to bump into you in the hallways of 30 Rock. Here's to 50 more years. Congratulations. New Yorkers will argue over almost anything. Mets, Yankees, where to get the best pizza. If it's ever okay to scoop out a bagel, no, it's not. But there's one thing everyone agrees on. Chuck Scarborough is as New York as it gets. Chuck, congratulations. And thank you for helping to keep generations of people plugged into the heartbeat of our city. We can't wait to see what the next 50 years will bring. So Chuck, I can only speak for myself, but uh, I think it's a, a very flattering when people like you and you connect with them and uh, I think for me, and I can't speak for you, but I think it's true, 
I think you connect with the New York audience. You have to because you've been doing it for five decades. People need that connection and you provided it to them and for them. And uh, I kind of feel that's still very important. The business has changed. The shows have changed. Technology has moved in. But there's a spot for people who want to connect with other people. And when the audience receives and gives back, that's magical. And you still have it. Hey, Ray Romano here. And I just want to say congratulations to Chuck Scarborough. 50 years. Wow. You know, I was there for the first 30 I've been out here for over 20 years, and God, I miss it. I miss New York. I miss, I miss the pizza. I miss the bagels. And I miss Chuck. Yeah. In that order. Pizza's first. And bagels is definitely second. But then Chuck. That's not bad. That's top three. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Latarica. And I'm Courtney. And, and we're, we're the, the Radio, Radio City Rockettes. From one New York icon to another, Congratulations, Chuck, on celebrating an incredible 50 years at NBC New York. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations Chuck, on 50 years at News 4 New York. You are a world-class standard in what is the greatest city in the world. So Chuck, I have a memory from the midpoint of your 50-year career of meeting you on live television. I was a new reporter at Channel 4, assigned to my first election night headquarters. It was a big assignment and I was really nervous. But from the very beginning, hearing your voice in my earpiece on the air that night was a calming force. You were so focused and asked such brilliant questions. And I just knew with you on the other end of the camera that it was going to be a really smooth night. And when I got to work the next morning, I found this amazing, beautiful handwritten note that you took the time to write and leave on my desk. When I showed it to my mom, she had it framed. She took it away from me and hung it on her living room wall where it remained for the rest of her life. And I just want you to know that that note and the spirit with which you wrote it is the equivalent of framed and hung in my heart for the rest of my life because of the 25 years it launched of camaraderie and friendship and mentorship. We've interviewed mayors together and covered tragedies. We have experienced so much together and you've taught me to look at stories from new perspectives. You've been a wonderful friend and colleague. You've set such high standards for all of us and I'm just so grateful to be working alongside you still. Happy anniversary, Chuck. Chuck has been invaluable to us at Silver Shield. Everyone knows Chuck's voice. They know who he is. He's uh, a very popular man. Uh, never met anyone that didn't love him, that knew him. And so we were very excited to have uh, Chuck join the board of Silver Shield in uh, 2005. And he continues on to be just as active today as he was when he started. Chuck, it's Phil Rudin here. Can't believe you've been doing this for 50 years. God bless you. I just want to know what you're drinking because I want to have that same drink. It's unbelievable. We love you. Many, many more. Good luck to you. We are sending a huge anniversary shout out to a New York legend, Chuck Scarborough. Absolutely. Thank you, Chuck, for keeping us so well informed and up to date for 50 years wow. at WNBC. This cannot be right. It, it says it, though. It says Chuck Scarborough, 50 years. 50 years at WNBC? 50 years at WNBC. Oh, it's his 50th birthday. A happy uh, that's birthday, what, oh, Chuck. Happy it can't be birthday. birthday. To Wait a minute, though. It says that he has been <laughs> at WNBC a half century. 50 years, Chuck. And, you are and a legend. Counting. And, and counting. counting. This isn't a retirement message. No, this is not. This the, is a congratulations message, Chuck. It, it's a you are amazing message, Chuck. We love you. Chuck, 50 years, oh my God, you've been anchoring longer than I've been alive. No, I'm only kidding, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, you are incredible, they don't make them like you anymore. You're a total pro, a total gentleman, total stud, no, no, just whatever. Anyway, I wanted to congratulate you. Thank you so much for inviting me. I know you probably had so many people congratulating you. I'm just glad to be one of many telling you how great you are, what a joy it has been. Uh, to watch you, to work with you, and to be your fan. Congrats. So Chuck, 50 years. We can't even get our heads around 
that kind of number. And you're not retiring. You're still here. You're still doing your thing and doing it really well, we might add. We, we, we think about 50 years and 50 years ago, what we were doing, what the heck was going on in this world, in this city. Everything that has happened in the past 50 years. Although 50 years ago, I was two. <laughs> so I, I was, was in, dreaming right. about working in New York City. Right. I was in fourth grade on Long Island watching Chuck Scarborough, right? Oh, wow. Grew up sort of idolizing what you did and, mm -hmm. and how you did it. I mean, you did every story. Um, who, who was mayor? Mayor Beam at the time, right? Yeah. Who was, the, who was the governor? But just the record of history. You know, I actually had to look that up. Right. Give this, me a second. This was the governor before, I think, Hugh Carey. Malcolm so, Wilson. Malcolm Wilson, right. Yes. Um, Carey I came mean, right after him. We can say Robert Morgenthau was probably the DA at the time. <laughs> And, you know, Chuck would tell us these stories every night. And we, we watched him through, you know, Nixon and Watergate. And, um, you know, you go through the 70s, Carter, Reagan, the 80s, and on and on and on. You were there and for the every ups, story. And the ups and downs right. of the Knicks and the Jets right. and the Giants and the, the Yankees and the Mets. The Mets and the Yankees. You did it all, Chuck. You've done it all. You've done it with class and grace and style. And uh, we respect that. We admire you. I got to work with you for a number of years over at, at Channel 4, too. So we tip our hats to you. We salute you. We congratulate you. And we honor you. Yeah. You set the bar high, Chuck. Congratulations on 50 years. And all the best. So, Chuck, we go way back to when I was producing The 11 at Channel 4 in the 90s. Remember the days of ER, you and Sue and Janice and Len. And now I'm sitting here. Actually, your competition which is really weird. But to imagine 50 years, we'd all love to know your secret to your longevity. And that part about never aging, it's very annoying. I wanna know what you're drinking, I wanna know what you're not eating. But seriously, Chuck, it was a joy to work with you back then and through the years, most of all, to learn from you. Nobody does it better than Chuck. Best of luck, man. Chuck, congratulations on 50 years. How we do local news has certainly changed over the half century, but why we do it remains the same. And you continue to lead the way with solid journalism and that relentless commitment that we work for the viewer. I'm honored to be on the air in your era. You are New York News. Hey, Chuck Scarborough. This is Steve Gutenberg and Elise Schramm and Betty Schramm and David Schramm, and we're all from New York, and we're all from Long Island, and we wish you happy 50th. We love you, Chuck Scarborough. Happy, happy 50th, Chuck. We love you. Happy 50th.